In an era where stealth technology dominates fighter aircraft design, Saab, the Swedish aerospace giant, has taken a divergent path with its JAS-39 Gripen, prioritizing electronic warfare over traditional low-observable airframes. This strategic choice reflects both technological pragmatism and Sweden's unique geopolitical context. Stealth, while effective, is increasingly challenged by advancements in radar and sensor technology that can detect even the subtlest signatures, from engine exhausts to airframe edges. Moreover, the astronomical costs of developing, producing, and maintaining stealth aircraft, exemplified by platforms like the Lockheed Martin F-35, pose a significant barrier for nations like Sweden, which must balance defense needs with economic realities. Instead, Saab has doubled down on EW, equipping the Gripen EF variants with a sophisticated suite that serves as an electronic shield, blending defensive resilience with offensive punch to keep the aircraft competitive in modern contested airspaces. The Gripen E's EW system is a marvel of integration and adaptability, designed to tackle the complexities of today's signal-saturated battlefield. Featuring 360-degree spherical coverage, it combines passive sensors like the radar warning receiver and infrared search and track with active countermeasures such as gallium nitride GAN-based jammers and the BOL chaff flare dispenser. The RWR alerts pilots to enemy radar emissions, while the URST allows silent target tracking without betraying the aircraft's position, a critical advantage in evading detection. The GAN-based jammers, a leap forward from traditional gallium arsenide technology, offer greater power efficiency and range, enabling the Gripen to disrupt enemy radar and missile guidance systems effectively. This active jamming capability, paired with networked sensors that fuse data from onboard systems and external platforms, empowers the Gripen to geolocate threats silently and strike first, even against formidable adversaries like Russia's Su-57 fighter or S-400 air defense system. Mats Palmberg, head of Saab's Gripen India campaign, encapsulates this ethos. With our state-of-the-art electronic warfare suite, we beat stealth. Beyond defense, the Gripen E's EW suite excels in offensive roles, incorporating electronic attack capabilities through jammer pods with expanded frequency ranges and air-launched decoy missile systems that enhance its ability to suppress enemy air defenses. This dual-purpose design reflects Sweden's Cold War legacy of self-reliance, when its position between NATO and the Warsaw Pact necessitated robust, independent EW development. Today, Saab continues this tradition, ensuring the Gripen systems remain cutting edge through a flexible architecture that supports rapid software updates. A recent agreement between Saab and the Swedish Defense Material Administration, valued at 5.8 billion SEK from 2023 to 2030, underscores this commitment, introducing enhancements to the EW, communication, and reconnaissance systems of both the Gripen E and legacy CD variants. This evolutionary approach ensures the aircraft can adapt to emerging threats without the need for costly hardware overhauls, a stark contrast to the more rigid upgrade paths of some competitors. To assess the Gripen E's EW capabilities, a comparison with regional competitors like Russia's Su-35 and Su-57 and NATO's Eurofighter Typhoon is instructive. The Su-35, a 4.5 generation fighter, boasts the Kabini EW system, which provides radar jamming and missile defense, but its reliance on older gallium arsenide technology limits its range and efficiency compared to the Gripen's GAN-based jammers. The Su-57, Russia's stealth contender, integrates the L-402 Himalaya's EW suite, blending stealth with electronic countermeasures. While its low observable design gives it an edge in reducing initial detection, the Gripen's passive sensors and network data sharing could negate this advantage by detecting emissions from the Su-57's radar or communications, allowing a preemptive response. The Eurofighter Typhoon, equipped with the Praetorian EW system, offers robust defensive capabilities, including radar warning and jamming, but lacks the Gripen's emphasis on offensive electronic attack and seamless sensor fusion.
The Typhoon's EW suite, while advanced, is less integrated with external platforms, potentially limiting its situational awareness in networked warfare scenarios. The Gripen E's communication and reconnaissance systems further amplify its EW prowess. Secure data links like Link 16 enable real-time coordination with allied forces, while electro-optical infrared sensors and synthetic aperture radar provide detailed intelligence without active emissions. This passive reconnaissance capability, combined with the Leonardo ES05 Raven ASA radar's multi-target tracking, positions the Gripen as a force multiplier in joint operations. Unlike the F-35, which leans heavily on stealth and sensor fusion at a premium cost, the Gripen achieves similar situational awareness through EW and networking at a fraction of the price, estimated at $85 million per unit, versus the F-35's $110 million plus. Historical exercises like Red Flag 2006, where earlier Gripen variants outmaneuvered advanced fighters through jamming and evasion, suggest this approach holds practical merit a legacy the E-variant builds upon with superior technology. In the broader regional context, the Gripen E's EW focus aligns with Sweden's strategic needs, countering Russia's sophisticated air defenses and fighters while maintaining interoperability with NATO allies. Against the S-400, which boasts long-range radar and missile reach, the Gripen's jamming and decoy systems offer a viable counter disrupting lock-on attempts and enabling closer engagement. Compared to the Su-57's stealth-centric design, the Gripen's EW suite provides a more cost-effective means of achieving survivability, trading physical invisibility for electronic deception. The Typhoon, while a strong NATO counterpart, lacks the Gripen's agility in adapting to new threats due to its multinational development constraints, whereas Saab's unilateral control ensures swift upgrades. Overall, the Gripen E's electronic warfare capabilities represent a compelling alternative to stealth, blending advanced technology with operational flexibility. Its GAN-based jammers, networked sensors, and rapid adaptability give it an edge in electronic superiority, challenging the dominance of costlier stealth platforms. While it may not match the F-35's raw stealth or the SU-57's hybrid approach, the Gripen E excels as a pragmatic, versatile fighter capable of holding its own against regional competitors through ingenuity rather than expense. For nations seeking high performance without breaking the bank, Saab's EW-focused philosophy offers a potent lesson. In modern air combat, the ability to outthink the enemy electronically can outweigh the benefits of simply hiding from them.